already I got my stuff in the trunk I got these down one two three of them back here got my tackle box got my got my bucket hopefully I have enough daylight to go in and actually do something all right let me get in the car and go on my way to the river Graveyards are so so old. Look at that. Now, doesn't that look like a nice place to go? I've got my head mount on. I don't know how well it's going to film all this. Oh, I see a haze on the water. Looks like clouds on the water. See that? That's so pretty. It's cooled off. Today, the weather today was horrible. Really, really horrible. Oh. It was very very hot and uh, just just horrible oh damn it I just noticed the tips broke off of that dang oh okay I'll be using that one I'll be using this one these two but I'm not gonna take my tackle box right now just put that back in here my bucket probably probably don't really need my bucket but oh, I'll take it anyway you never know I might catch that big whopper so really nice feels good out here I haven't been fishing in so long I don't know if you can see it but I hope you can see it look at look at the uh it's just like a, a haze on the water. So the water's cool. The, the closer I get to this, the, oh wow, it's like air conditioning. Oh, I see a fish. You see him? I see a brim right down there. Yeah, that's a good sign. Wow. Okay, let me get my little fishing pole together here. I'm gonna sit this one down here. I'll put this one back together. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet I catch a fish on my first cast? What do you think? What is that plastic stuff? Oh, I think I'd shoved plastic stuff in there to kind of make it fit tighter. Oh, well, get rid of that. All right. Make sure I got this one here straight. Oh, there we go. really don't want to make too much noise because noise just uh all right there we go so this is that that worm thing i was telling you about this is a a south bend 705 it's a short rod here but anyway i've had this in a long long time gotta watch out for snakes too because you know how snakes are I'm gonna catch a fish on the first first cast. Oh, didn't go very far. Let me pull some of that string out. Maybe it'll go farther next time. Alright. Oh, I forgot about mosquitoes. Whew. I was so excited. So excited. Look at that. Oh, can you see the bridge down there? Well, okay. Didn't catch anything on the first cast, but that's okay. I'll catch something on the second cast. Oh, that one went out a little further. Oh, it's like air conditioning down here next to this water. Up there where my car is, it's still hot and humid. I come down here and it's it's really nice, nicely air conditioned. You can see that fish? You see him right there? Right over there? 
I bet I can catch him. I bet he's going to love this. Oop. Watch him. Ah, he didn't even budge. <laughs> he's taking a nap or something. Oh, there we go. on that little worm one time. And my camera had stopped. I don't know why. And maybe my battery just needs charged. But I had to restart it. I was just letting this thing kind of sit down in there for a little bit while I looked at my camera. I was down here well maybe eight years ago or so and us sitting here and you know come up underneath that bridge down there was a barge come right up through here it was a good size barge I bet fishing along those bluffs down there is probably a pretty good place to fish. So you can see how the water's flowing. The the water flows from up there this way. That's east. That's west. So I'm just letting that little worm just go with the so you can see how the, the line's going out a little bit because it's the uh, the water flowing is taking it that way and then I just kind of give it a little just a little nudge once in a while just let it go down that way and then just give it a little nudge kind of like that just kind of pull it back towards me a little bit so I'm just gonna let it play around out there they always say that if it's been a really, really hot day, and today was, it was, it was around 100 degrees today. But they, they say that when it's a really, really hot day, the fish go deep to the cooler water. And they, uh, they tend to not eat quite as much, but it's, the sun's going down. And it's cool right here. It feels all, oh, I can barely see that bridge now. Ah, oh, it smells so good too. I love the smell of a river. This river smells good. But the, uh, this, this fog is just raising up off the rivers because, and that's because, well, the river's cooler. I don't know exactly how it goes, but the, the warmth Oh, the water kind of raises up as it cools off out here. <clears throat> I 
I'm gonna have to do my here fishy fishy song. Well, you'd think I would have found a fish by now. Let me reel him in, kind of put him somewhere else. I mean, look at that. Let me just drop him right here next to the next to the dock here. fish. Sometimes you hear them jumping out there. Oh, I'm gonna let him sink a little bit further. A little deeper. I don't know exactly how deep it gets out here, but I'm just gonna let him, I'm just gonna let him sink. I don't know why, but this camera wouldn't let me set the low light setting. But I did change my view to, you know, like a much wider view. So maybe that'll, if there's enough light, you can see a little bit better. Maybe. And I hope the, uh, I hope I have enough light out here for this. It's, it's the sun's going down, so. You know, and we may, may not be able to stay much longer. But you know what? I've enjoyed this, and it has been very much worth it, you know, for me to, you know, just sit here and and enjoy this and to, to just to try to catch a fish. I mean, it's been forever since I've gone fishing, and I really, really, really just wanted to come out here and just do something. And... You know, to play with my GoPro. <laughs> I've seen people pull big catfish out of this river and some big bass and uh, crappie. You wouldn't believe the crappie I've seen come out of this river. And also, oh, what they call a striper, striped, big striped bass. And also, like, you know, just regular bass, white bass, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass. And I'm sitting down here not catching a dang thing. But I will. Oh, something just crashed down there a little bit. Okay, well, I think it's going to be getting too dark for me, so I'm going to pack it up and go home without catching anything. Oof. I don't want no wild critters coming out. Because when it gets dark like this, wild critters like to come out. So... I've seen bobcat around here, the big wildcats. I've also seen coyotes, possums, skunks, raccoons, groundhogs. And yes, we do have mountain lions. Well, what they call a mountain lion. Not really near the mountains here, but what they call a mountain lion. I've seen those around here as well. Well, my mother's seen them. Um, I saw something one day that I thought was a huge cat. I mean, huge. I'm talking about like maybe three feet long. I don't know if it was the, the, just a big old bobcat or if it's one of those mountain lions. The one, well, the ones they call a lion, tiger, or whatever you want to call it. Tennessee tiger. So. I think something was coming after my thing there. Oh, that was weird. 
actually saw something like the back of something following my lure there. I might catch something out here anyway. Hmm. Well, that didn't go very far. I was trying to swat away a uh, a bug at the same time that I was casting. I can only almost go out a few feet now. All right, let me try that one more time. There it goes. I really did not want to spray myself with bug spray just for, you know, an hour of fishing. You know, if I was going to be out here for like, you know, half a day or something like, well, I don't know. I don't want to be eating.